I'm basically just gonna be traveling the next year of my life, going to Nepal, to Portugal and Spain. Off on the Euro trip. We in Barcelona, baby. Two days in the visa, let's go. Uh, we're in Rome. We're in fucking Rome. We are off to Amsterdam. Last country, just gonna make the best of it. I'm at Kevin's place right now and I'm basically packing up all my shit into different categories. So I'm basically just gonna be traveling for the next five plus months, I think, if not net the next year of my life. And I have stuff for every climate and every sport and every different country that I would go to for warm clothes like going to Nepal to stuff I would need to going to Portugal and Spain. And it's really just a lot of work right now, but I'm not planning on coming back to Denver for a while. So I really need to get organized. So this is gonna be my bag, basically all my clothes um, for traveling. I try to go as light as I can. If I need something, I will buy something along the road at a market or something. All packed up for two weeks in Europe. Camera gear in here, hoping this fits uh, in the overhead. Bows here. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it's gonna work out. Can you say action? Because I'm filming. Action. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So, came up from Nantucket today, and now I'm with my buddy Al, and bring me to the airport. I have a red eye to Barcelona tonight to meet Alexi. Off on the Euro trip, so it's gonna be fun. This is my director, Al. Al Vizzy Vaz, he says action and cut. And he, let me tell Hello. you, he, he kills it. So I was just told that there are certain countries within the EU, the Shangrian states, and you have to have a return flight if you are flying to those states. I've never heard of that before. I've flown to Europe numerous times without a return flight and have never had a problem. Bought a $20 ticket to Reykjavik, which I'm pretty sure is still a part of the Shangrian states. Whatever, I mean, hopefully that's the biggest complication I deal with going into this rest of the flight. Hopefully I make it to Barcelona. But I went to Air France Lounge, worst lounge I've ever been to in Boston, which is surprising because it's Air France. So I've come to the Virgin Atlantic one and it's definitely like weird scenes, a weird lounge, but it's definitely a bit nicer than Air France, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice glass of champagne here. Get on a plane, try to get some sleep, and hopefully wake up in Barcelona with no problems. So I made it to Barcelona. Flight was actually super chill. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, get some coffee right now because I'm feeling all sorts of jet lag. Oh, the hostel I got, super cheap, it's pretty nice. Alexi's currently in Lisbon, so uh, gonna meet him tomorrow. I'm gonna take the day and just walk around Barcelona and just kinda get lost and see what I can find. Maybe get some work done, explore some of the tourist sites. I'm ready to uh, kick off this Euro trip. Barcelona, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been here for two days. Okay. Unreal. Been sightseeing, jumped in the ocean, uh, been eating tapas. Um, I mean, soaking it all in. It's been a fucking amazing trip so far. Just architecture, beautiful. People, beautiful. Uh, music, beautiful. So, yeah, we're just living life right now. Uh, and that's what we're doing in Barcelona, baby. Fuck yeah.
and do a visa, huh? Two days in a visa, let's go. Spent two days in Ibiza. I didn't get a lot of footage from Ibiza because basically we just went and saw a couple uh, shows that we were looking forward to seeing. Um, we saw Black Coffee, Martinez Bros, uh, Gorgon City, and Sunny Federo. It's gonna be a tough morning here. Off to the airport and a quick little hour flight over to Rome. Good. What'd you say? How are you, I said, how are you feeling? Oh, uh, dude, feeling good. Slept a little on the plane. Uh, we're in Rome. We're in fucking Rome. Uh, so it's our first day in Rome. We're both feeling pretty sick. I've had a cough for like two weeks now. And Alexi's coming out with a sore throat, so... I don't know if it's COVID or something else, but we're gonna push on through. We're gonna get negative tests first, obviously, before we do anything. But the plan today is just to go see the sites of Rome, Colosseum, uh, Pantheon, uh, maybe the Vatican, if we can get negative tests. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. We're both really tired and beat down, but uh, one last day in Rome before we head to Amsterdam tomorrow. So we are at the Vatican, you can see it. This is the Vatican Wall right here. It's its own country. Um, but the big thing to know that is you should buy the Skip the Line ticket if you come here. It's like an extra 20 bucks, but there's always a huge line that wraps around if you want to get the cheap version and just wait in line and that will take forever. The Vatican Tour itself for the museum, you're going to want two to three hours to go through because it's so beautiful. You're going to get into Sistine Chapel and just fall in love with that place. I mean, I've been there three times and every time it's been just as magical as the last. So we bought our tickets online through TripAdvisor just with the skip the line. Um, you need to show up like 20 minutes before your start time. If you miss your start time, it's over because they go by groups, so you can't be late. We were late, we were about 30 minutes late because we were grabbing coffee and the guy um, was just nice enough to let us join the next group because there was room. But that doesn't happen very often, so we were very lucky. But yeah, this is to me one of the most beautiful parts of coming to Rome is seeing the Vatican. It's very special, very magical place. Just seeing the artwork and what people over time have created is something special. So yeah, we're gonna head in there in the next couple minutes and uh, I'll try to film whatever I can because it's very strict in there. So we'll see. going up to the top of the St. Peter's Basilica. 520 steps, cost eight euros. It's definitely worth it, you get an epic view of Rome. But you just go around in circles, like you can see here, for a long time. But it's worth it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
castle, baby. I've never had pizza this good. <laughs> <laughs> it is 4 a.m. We're leaving Rome for the airport to go to Amsterdam. <clears throat> Supposedly it's super rainy in Amsterdam, so we're gonna see what's going on there. But um, we got a hotel this time instead of doing the hostel life because it's just uh, getting too much and you're not really able to sleep too well in the hostels. So found a relatively cheap hotel and we'll see how that goes. How are you feeling, Alex? Um, tired, but, um, you know, even though it's gonna rain in Amsterdam, still excited to see it. Um, Rome was just insanely beautiful in so many ways. So, uh, yeah, tired, but we're optimistic. 12 degrees Celsius with some rain. Perfect. Uh, what just what just happened, bro? Dude had a fucking passport scare. Thought I left it uh, in the lounge, but we're good. Just in a secret compartment. <laughs> so we made it to Amsterdam. It's raining, but it's beautiful. Walk into our ho hotel and uh, explore the city from here. You say you're gonna get? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this really is sure. what 200 bucks a night gets you in Amsterdam. Sure. It's pretty spacious as you can see. Sheesh. You do have a nice view though. Damn. So we're bouncing out from Amsterdam now. Alexi and I have been kind of uh, kind of sick for the past couple days. We're both feeling better, but I think the warmer climate in Portugal two wonders for us. I don't know. Last country. Just going to make the best of it. We got a nice Airbnb and uh, hopefully we start feeling better tonight and tomorrow and we can really enjoy it because we're both a bit run down and just kind of the way things go when you're traveling. You want to meet people and you want to do things and you know, like you get sick, it happens. So it's been a bummer. We've enjoyed a bit of Amsterdam, but mostly have just been sick and in bed. So um, hoping for a change of pace here in Portugal and yeah, three more days till we're back in the US. So we're gonna really do our best to enjoy it. Our time in Europe has come to an end, unfortunately. You're not gonna see much of Portugal because I came down with a pretty serious um, lung infection uh, that caused bronchitis. And so uh, I've been down for about past five days. It's just incredibly sick. First I thought it was COVID and it turned out it wasn't COVID. Um, the cough and my lung problem just got worse and worse and worse. So I went to the hospital and got on antibiotics. Doing a lot better now, but <clears throat> I basically was down and out for most of Amsterdam and Portugal, and that's just the way things go sometimes. So the kind of end of this trip has kind of, you know, plummeted out a little bit, but I am feeling a lot better now. Alexi already left and headed to the airport. Uh, my Uber will be here in a couple minutes. So now we head to New York to see a couple of our good friends from high school to go to Jamie XX concert and just spend the weekend in New York. That's a wrap, so. It's been a pretty quick, pretty rapid moving trip, but it's been a lot of fun.